Are you tired of not having any land or characters to unlock? Evans, how do I unlock the entertainment district? Uh... I'm not Evans! He should have asked Tinyco. The entertainment district is here. Good work, Evans. Now where is the government district? Thank you, sir. Hey guys, it's Wilbits, and it's finally here. After all this teasing, the entertainment district is ready to be unlocked! I'm gonna take you through the characters, the buildings, and the new quests you're gonna be doing to hopefully unlock everything that this district has to offer and get, amongst other things, a whole lot of new sweet, sweet land. Oh, that feels good. So first things first, you're gonna wanna clear out these blocks. They take 12 hours, so it's gonna be a while before we actually get any of that new land. This one is not an event, so you will have no time restrictions. You can do it at your leisure. You will have plenty of time to get through everything with the understanding that there's a pretty good chance next week that a Halloween event is going to start and it is going to be more difficult to progress in this story once that event begins, assuming that that's what's going to be there. We're gonna have three characters we're going to unlock, including a costume. First will be La Barbara, Hermes Conrad's lovely wife. For 90,000 credits, we can go ahead and start that right now. I can and will. So La Barbara takes a good eight hours to build, and it's gonna be a nice slow burn, but don't worry. Let's go ahead and plot out how the rest of the district is gonna go. La Barbara's gonna take a little bit of a grind. Similar to Leela, she's got two rare items with a bunch of stuff to pick up. And, uh, some uncommons as well. Let's just go through it in order. The manwitches. My manwitch is, of course, going to be Hermes Conrad doing a limbo through pneumatic tubes. A nice eight-hour task, but it's a common, so you should get them pretty often. And, of course, you can collect them from the historic 20th century apartments, which, again, every eight hours is going to drop something. But that one at least happens automatically. You don't have to remember to send Hermes off to do it. Hoop earrings are gonna drop from your fancy clothing district in Alien Overlord and Taylor, Giorgio R. Monster, and Diamonds Are Forever. You need 14 of them. The spandex pants, of which you need 14, can be dropped by Earl, Leela, and Amy with a nice six hour task. Eight hours for Amy, and the same for Leela. And also 14 roller skates, which can be gotten by Leg Mutant, The Professor, and Kith. I like that for her at least, most of that main central cast is not quite as busy as they have been. Yes, Amy and the Professor are doing stuff, but at least Fry and Bender aren't. That's a start. This is gonna take you most of the rest of your time going forward. And notably, Cowboy Kiff actually does need to be level 12 in order to do this 4 hour task. I actually didn't have him up to level 12, you might not either, cause he's been a little redundant with normal Kiff. The good news is, while that's all grounding, you can start hitting Amazonia. The planet you may remember with the Amazonian women that they crash landed on. But you will need Leela in order to actually check it out. And hey, we get a fifth fighter. That's actually really exciting because that's that's one of the things that I forgot about why the entertainment district was going to be so strong. We not only get a fifth fighter, but the max level for our characters has actually increased. You can now push them all the way up to level 30 rather than just level 25. So definitely watch out, combat is going to get a lot harder than what it has been, I would assume. To clear this mission, you're gonna have to have a level 22 HG Horrible Gelatinous Blob and a level 21 Snoo Snoo Amy. We're gonna look at those in just a little bit. There's a lot of- wow, this is a big map. There's a lot of things to pick up here. It is mostly fights. I only see one event over here in this little corner on this lower path. And everything else is just all fights through at least this beginning map. Natural. The Amazon women are definitely a little tougher than the stuff we've been facing. I would say be wary of the other paths if you have there. But hey, you do get Terra chips for your trouble. So it is going to be a little bit easier to help push them up to that new max level for everybody. 
Once you get La Barbara, you get a couple of quests, and once again, I do want to point out the the top one that is white is required for progression. The green one is optional. Do it or don't. It's fine. They'll all get you the right place. The second task in progression will be creating Amazonian Amy's outfit. This is probably one of my favorite outfits, I think, in maybe the entirety of Futurama. It was barely in the show, but that one moment where she walks through and says, Me, Nux, no, no, out me way. To this day, I still say, out me way to people who are in my way, and I don't know if they ever know why that I say that. But I say it anyway, because it amuses me. To get her, you're going to need five stilts, which you can get from the Amazonian hut for a slight 107,000 Nixon bucks. No big deal. You'll need 15 ripped clothes, which you can get from Hermes, Amy, or La Barbara. 15 face paints, which at last, Hedonism Bot helps out with. But you can also use Bender and Earl. And you need 15 mini bone hair ties that you'll be collecting from the Foodomat, Hacking Jack's Fine Smokables, and the Big Apple Bank. Uh, the rare ones, there's a lot of things to pick up. It's going to take a little bit of time. But it's a captain ca outfit for Amy, which is actually pretty neat. You are going to need to bring Amy. Um, having four extra slots does make it easy to carry lower leveled characters if you need to. But if you can get her up a few levels, it probably will help. Because again, these levels are getting a lot harder very quickly. The recommended level is actually 21 at this point. This map has required paths specifically for Leela and La Barbara. Again, an incentive to level those ladies up if you haven't by now. Hey, and once you've got Amy and La Barbara and you've cleared out that mission... The only thing left is to unlock Mr. H.G. Blob and Madison Cube Garden itself, 1,500 hypnotons, I can and, will. and a scant 8 hour wait. And you can start unlocking H.G. Blob himself. He needs 8 family photos, which you will need to get from H.G. Blob's house, 100,000 smackers to put it down, 16 tablets on which to tap upon, from the Rook Takes Pawn Shop, the Family Brothers Pizza, and the Animal Clinic. The first one you definitely have, the other two were potentially skippable. So if you didn't fully complete everything in the last district, you might have to circle back and build those, although they're a lot cheaper than his house. 16 newspapers, which can be dropped by Smitty, La Barbara, and Kiff. Those are rare drops. And 16 Planet Express packages, delivered straight to him, just like in the commercial we showed in the open. You can get those from Leela, Fry, and Amazonian Amy. You can actually do the last map, the Femputer of Oz, even without having Horrible Gelatinous Blob in your party. So there's no need to really rush him through. You're gonna pick him up eventually. That last quest is gonna have the familiar recover the artifact and reveal the government district. And get ready for a million questions about where's the government district. It's going to seem very confusing after you have the artifact and it still says you haven't unlocked it. It's going to be just like the entertainment district where until we get it, you're not actually going to be able to open this up. So for now, that's actually the end of what we're able to accomplish with the new stuff. I think it's going to take people a really long time. I know I just blew through a bunch of stuff, but I was rushing just to kind of show off and showcase some of the things we would be getting. But that's the whole of it. A new district's out, a whole bunch of new land has come in, and we've got something to chew on for quite a while. Relax, take it easy, don't let the drop rate stress you out. We're gonna have it all before too long, and then we'll be begging, when's the next event? So until then, sound off in the comments. How are you doing? How long is it taking you to get all of these drops? I'll see you next time. Bye for now.